Hi friends, this is Dave of JavaCodeJunkie.com and welcome back to another JavaFX video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at the basics of menus in JavaFX. Creating menus in JavaFX requires the use of several classes, the first of which is a menu bar. So let's create one. Menu bar, menu bar equals new menu bar. The next class is the menu class, which creates the highest level menu item. And that's the item that you would see on the first row of your menu. So let's create a new menu item. Menu, file menu, equals new menu. And I'll give it a title or some text of file. We'll now to our menu bar. Menu bar dot get menus dot add all file menu and I'm using the add all method instead of the add method because I intend to create a couple of other menu items. We'll now add the menu bar to the root of our scene graph. So root dot set top and the node is going to be menu bar. And we can run the program at this point. Right click run as Java application. We'll choose launcher as the entry point for our program and click OK. And you'll see we now have the file menu. We do not have any menu items because we haven't added them at this point. So that's the next thing that we can do. Menu item, open item equals new menu item. And I'll use the text open. We now have to add the menu item to the file menu. So file menu dot get items dot add all again because I'm going to add multiple menu items to the file menu. And I'll specify open item as the menu item to add. Let's run it again. Right click, run as Java application, launcher and OK. And now when we click on the file menu, we should see the open menu item. There it is. I'm going to add several other menu items to the file menu, so let's create those. Let's create save and exit. We'll just get rid of this last one. Change the text on the, menu, on the menu item. And now we'll add those to the file menu. Save item and exit item. Run the program. Right click, run as, Java application, choose launcher and click OK. And now when we click on the file menu, in addition to the open, we have the save and the exit. We also have the ability to add a separator, which allows us to group various sections of our menu. So say, for example, we wanted to, between the save item and the exit item, to put a separator. We just simply say new separator menu item. And now when we run the program, and click on the file menu, you see that we have a line between the save and the exit. Before we move on to any new concepts, I'm just going to paste in a couple of more menus and menu items. There's nothing new that I'm going to introduce. We're still using the same menu and menu item classes. So I'm introducing an edit menu with a cut, copy, and paste menu items, as well as a help menu with an about menu item. And I'm going to add both the edit menu and the help menu to the menu bar. Run to make sure that that works. And now we have the file menu with the open, save, and exit, as well as the separator, the edit with the cut, copy, paste, and the help with the about menu item. The next menu topic that I'd like to talk about is keyboard shortcuts. JavaFX menus support keyboard shortcuts, 
And they come in two forms. The first is mnemonics, and the second is mnemonics are a key that allow you to select an item from an active menu, whereas an accelerator is a key combination that allows you to select a menu item without first having to activate the menu. Let's first look at how we would implement mnemonics in a JavaFX menu. Let's go back to the file menu. Now, implementing mnemonics is quite simple. All we do is add an underscore character in front of the character that we want to use as the mnemonic. So for example, in the file menu, if I want to use the letter F, I would enter an underscore before the letter F. This allows me then to use the key combination Alt and the letter F to select the file menu. Let's run and see this in action. You'll see the same file, edit, and help menu. Now, if we press the Alt key, you'll see a line under the letter F in the file menu. In the case of a menu, this then allows us to, then allows us to open the menu by hitting that letter F. Accelerators can also be added to menu items. For example, if we want in the file menu to add an accelerator to the open menu item, again, simply the underscore character in front, and then run Alt F to open the file menu, then the letter O to select the open menu item. And nothing happens at this point because we haven't actually added any event handling code to our menu items. So let's add an event handler to the open menu item in the file menu. Open item dot set on action. And here I'm going to use a Lambda expression. And I'm simply going to use a print to the console. Open menu item selected. Let's run and we'll test that. So now Alt F to open the file menu and the letter O, we should see a message down in the console. Open menu item selected. The second form of shortcut in a JavaFX menu is the accelerator. Now the accelerator differs from the mnemonic in that the menu does not have to be visible for the menu item to be selected. So let's look at how we would add an accelerator to the save menu item in the file menu. Save item dot set accelerator and we specify the accelerator by using a static method of the key combination class. And that method is key combination accepts a string. Now the string will contain a modifier such as control or alt or shift plus a key such as the letter S. So we'll specify CTRL plus the letter S as the accelerator for our save menu item. In order to see the results of that accelerator, we also have to add an event handler. We'll just copy the event handler that we had for the open item and we'll change that to save. Let's run. The accelerator doesn't require the menu to be open, so we can simply control S without the menu already having been selected or opened. And as a result of pressing that accelerator key combination, control plus S, we see the save menu item selected message in the console. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I hope you'll consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe.